Well, there are things most of us take for granted that can make a world of difference for people living with disabilities. Things like having a say in where and how you live. That's why one Vancouver man is using his own painful journey as firepower in his fight for equality. Norma Reed reports. From the state-of-the-art kitchen to the books in the library, this seems like a normal 700-square-foot apartment. But for the man who lives here, no word can describe what it means. Born with muscular dystrophy, Paul Kahn is wheelchair-bound and needs a ventilator to breathe. He spent his life in and out of group homes and hospitals. But the worst, he says, was at an extended care facility. Forced bedtimes, a lack of privacy, and showers once a week. One pillow is a cuckoo's nest. Really? It's like a cage. Now, it is a horrible place to live in. Um, I was amused within weeks of going there. That is until he found this apartment. It's one of seven subsidized units inside a high rise, equipped with the necessities he needs, even a remote control door opener. But he's only here because he fought against a system he says was determined to keep him down. The cage that I was forced in to yesterday, anybody can be forced in that. Tomorrow. It's with that attitude Khan established the Paladin Advocacy League. Its goal is simple, to have both provincial parties commit to legislation protecting people with disabilities by the next election. Your access to health care, education, housing is purely at the whim of the bureaucracy and the elected politician. Unlike the United States, where there is very strong legislation, such as the American with Disabilities Act and the Individual Education Act. Laws to protect even the simple things most of us take for granted, like sitting on the balcony and taking in the view. Norma Reed, CTV News, Vancouver.